Hey everyone, um, in this screencast I'm going to take a look at um, Super Putty which is a Windows GUI application that allows the Putty SSH client to be opened in tabs. Additionally, they support for SCP transfer files. Um, it's written in C Sharp and runs on any Windows platform supporting .NET Framework 2 or newer. Um, okay, so this is the web page, so you can go to that URL and take a look around. Uh, I'm currently on Windows 7, 64-bit. I do not have Putty installed, but I do have Visual Studio 2012 Express Edition installed. Um, so we'll see. Uh, we'll install Super Putty and see what it complains about, and uh, we'll do the needful along the way. Uh, so let's go ahead to the downloads page. Uh, this seems to be the yeah. This is the latest version. So going to download. Uh, the zip will start okay so it's it's just about 600 KB uh, so that's the EXE which is right from there okay it um, doesn't seem to do much maybe I'll need to extract it uh, okay so here it go so okay so we get this dialog box Right, so this application requires a party application to run, so of course I need to first install party. Hmm, okay. The GUI, okay, so let's now install party. Uh, let's search for the website, so okay, looks like um, this is the page. So this is the party web page, as you can see. This is the URL go to the download files themselves buddy PSCP PSFTP so all of them together uh, okay so let's see which one should we download um, it says x86 I wonder if should be good enough for so what I'm going to do is instead of downloading the individual files I'm just going to download the installer which says it's for everything except putty tail so since we just need putty psfp and psftp i think that should suffice for our needs i'm going to start the installer um so that's where it's going to install i'm just going to copy it just in case so program shortcuts which is just fine if you want a desktop icon maybe uh, and few other things going to install okay uh, so just to let it okay now we're going to go back to super putty and I'm going to go to the locate I'm going to point to it where I just installed putty so it's I just use a browse dialog box for that so if you remember we installed it into program files x86 going to browse for party and there it is and here we go so fine okay so we've got party now let's also point it to PSCP which is again in the same location if you see which is really not in good that it finds it um, so I'm not going to change anything um, settings folder fine I'm just going to go with the default it should be your username documents so which is just okay um, min TTY location so this is a terminal emulator uh, since I have Sigwin installed it's just using so it just found it from here uh, about the GUI we're not going to change anything there I'm just going to do go ahead and um, do a okay mm, okay so what do we have here okay so let's say I want to log in to my host which is the IP 10.0.0.3 using SSH. Um, the login would be my username, password. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you that. Session. Well, wow, we'll just go ahead and start. Servers. Okay, so the standard SSH. Um, warning message which is about the public key and all and here we go so as you can see I have been logged in which is a federal laptop so as you can see I'm there 
Um, okay, let's try opening another session. I'm going to just uh, say using the same uh, username, password, same host. I'm just going to open another session. Cool. And as you can see, so we have got multiple party sessions, which is really neat. Uh, that's what Super Party promised us, and uh, that seems to be pretty nice. Uh, so you logged in there, and then you can just access the Linux desktop the way it is. Um, of course, you can tell it, and so we'll just keep that for another time. You can uh, switch between the tabs using the controlled tab keys. So you can just move to the next on the previous tab. Uh, you can use the F11 key to go full screen and F11 again to toggle it back. Uh, so let's just try and edit a few things. Hmm, this is super putty. So yeah, seems to be pretty cool. And uh, okay, so I think that's pretty much all I ha wanted to show you or discuss in the screencast. Um, uh, hope you enjoy the property and uh, if you know of a better tool as Super Buddy, do let me know. Till next time. Bye bye.